Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So this is your month head look at. And we're going to extend out into the beginning of September, which of course takes us to meteorological autumn. Of course, that is uh, questionable because the uh, weather doesn't know. We've got these uh, strict criteria and defined periods. So um, it's just a, a way of sort of uh, being able to uh, look at the numbers. And it's easier if you have defined uh, periods. So the, the defined summer period meteorological, meteorologically is the first day of June to the final date of August. And then um, autumn is the first day of September to the final day of November. But very often we do have uh, really warm, even hot weather during the first, uh, particularly the first half of September. It can happen even later than that sometimes. So anyway, the upshot is uh, the 38 updates now are taking us into the beginning of mid autumn. And I'll go get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on this afternoon, have your week's 10-day video update. And that will include all of the usual features. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar high dummy flow chart from the JMA, looking at the North Pole view down. So we've got the, the uh, North Pole is here, right over centre of the Arctic, of course. UK is just there, along with Ireland. Blue is, is, is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. And yellow, orange and red extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. So this is week one anomaly, taking us from the 9th through to the 16th of August, and it looks very unsettled. We've got northern blocking up towards Greenland and extending back into the Arctic. Lots of high pressure up there with those uh, yellow, orange and red colours. And then we've got a trough of below average heights over the UK and also covering much of northern Europe too. That's sending the jet stream samples, the jet stream being pushed samples into that trough of low pressure. And so it looks very unsettled in the week ahead. There'll be showers, longer spells of rain, and not particularly exciting temperatures too. The jet stream push samples like that. We are going onto the cool side of the jet. So it does look very unsettled and uh, pretty cool, I have to say. Then we go through to week two. This one takes us from the 16th through to 23rd of August. Still looking unsettled. We've got northern blocking there continuing around Greenland, high pressure extending green, uh, through Greenland in towards the Arctic. Very, very extensive above average heights covering much of the Arctic, you'll notice. Really, really strong blocking signals. Underneath it, got this trough of low pressure again, sitting over the UK and the North Atlantic. Winds are in from the west with jet stream. So it continues to look very unsettled and probably really quite cool as well. Then we go through to week three and four, and we see signs of a change. This takes us from the 23rd of August to the 6th of September. Now, we do still have a northern blocking signal, so we still have the above average heights here of week three and four from Greenland and extending back into the Arctic. Uh, we also have above average heights building to our south and southeast, though, so higher pressure is beginning to ridge up from uh, the south or into the south and the southeast. Now, in between, there's no particularly obvious area of low pressure, but between those two ridges, you would probably expect a trough to be in this sort of area. So, although we have got heights rising to our south and southeast, it possibly isn't quite as settled as you might think, looking at the 500 millibar height on, because the jet could still be doing something uh, a little bit like that, if there's a trough in this sort of cream coloured area. Bear in mind, this is a two weekly anomaly. So it could be transitional. It could be something like in week three, the ridge starts to build to our south, but it's not actually until week four, which will be the first week of September, week four, that the high pressure takes over more strongly. Something like that could be going on, but it does look as though, anyway, for southern parts of the country, it might be turning a little bit more settled. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view. Uh, British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. This is the week one 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, it's taking us from the 9th to the 16th of 
uh, of August, and it looks unsettled. We've got the below average heights over the UK, and we've come over here extending into northern parts of Europe too. Now, we can't see the, uh, the North Pole and the Arctic view, but we just have a look at that view, uh, of course. So we know what's going on there. We know we have got these very extensive northern blocking signals uh, around those sort of areas, which is sending the jet stream southwards. Therefore, it's quite a cool... Uh, week coming up, temperature anomalies are actually a little bit below average, slightly cooler than average temperatures in the week ahead. And the precipitation anomaly is above average, so it's a wet uh, a, a wet week coming up and quite cool too. Not what you want to be seeing in uh, in August, particularly the first half of August when a lot of people are on holiday. So uh, it looks pretty cool and unsettled in week ahead. And not much better for week two either. This is the 16th to 23rd of August. Again, the low pressure is in from the Atlantic along with the jet stream as well. Temperatures, uh, temperature anomalies are lifting up a little bit, so it's not quite as cool in week two. We're only going close to average, but it's not quite as cool in week two as it is compared to uh, week one. Obviously, with low pressure still churning away over the UK, it's still unsettled, so precipitation anomalies are still above average. Again, quite a cool wet week coming up there going into the second half of August. Then those signs have changed for uh, weeks three and four as the above average heights begin to develop down to our south, which would at the very least start to push jet stream a bit further north, but there may be um, low pressure still involved here, especially if we're transitioning to uh, to those above average heights. Temperature anomalies are getting a big boost, though, from the 23rd of August to 6th of September, going above average by around one to two degrees above average, which is quite a strong signal, actually, for weeks three and four, being two weeks anomaly, they tend to be a little bit uh, weaker. So it does look as though we might end August on uh, on quite a warm note, maybe even into start of September. Beginning to dry out a little bit as well, although it's still better than average for the northern part of the country. So Scotland, Northern Ireland still above average rainfall, England and Wales starting to turn drier. Definite signs of a change there for the end of August and beginning of September to something rather warmer and drier. Let's have a look at CFSV2, see how that compares. So again, these are 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period takes us from the 9th to the 15th of August. The uh, coming week has below average heights over the UK uh, with a blocking area of high pressure up towards Greenland. So perfect agreement really between the uh, JMA and the CFSV2. Looks unsettled, very unsettled potentially and uh, cool as well with the jet stream for southwards. Uh, week three, week two, sorry, is the 16th to 23rd of August. Again, it's unsettled. Below average heights are out to the north and west. Above average heights are down to the south. The uh, jet stream is coming through like that. Again, we've got quite a lot of blocking up to the north. So again, looking quite unsettled. Low pressure is driving across the Atlantic. Um, and uh, you expect further bouts of rain, particularly for northern and western parts of the country. This is week three. It gets us from the 23rd of August to the 29th. So this will be encompassing the bank holiday weekend, of course. And by the way, updates for the uh, final bank holiday weekend of uh, the summer will be commencing over this weekend. It's now coming within the time frame of the extended uh, GFS. So um, this is uh, week three, and below average heights are still out to the northwest of the country, so still rather than south. Heights are rising to the south, but they're more centred kind of like central eastern parts of Europe, actually. Still a bit of blocking up to the north. Well, this would do, it would still be unsettled, but we would probably start to bring some warmer air up from the southwest, possibly from the south. So maybe, yes, it does turn warmer, I would have thought there, but could be a little bit volatile. Might be a bit thundery, perhaps. And then we go through to uh, week four, which is the 30th of August to the 5th of September. Uh, by then, we've got ridging uh, taking place across eastern parts of Europe and western Russia. So that would bring hot air up the eastern side of Europe. However, for us, we've got this ridge in the middle of the Atlantic. Still a few hints of blocking towards Greenland or high pressure towards Greenland. 
and a weak trough of below average heights in the North Sea. So that could potentially be quite a cool and unsettled first week to September, actually. Uh, the jet stream could well be doing something a little bit like that. Um, so, again, it, it's a weak signal because it's, it's week four. It's quite a long way away. But um, that one doesn't look quite as warm and dry for September. In fact, that could be rather cool and still a little bit on the unsettled side. Let's have a look at the temperature anomalies from the CFS V2. So this is week one temperature anomaly from the 9th to the 15th of August, coming out cooler than average. So both models are in agreement that the coming week will be quite cool. Notice it's very cool also across much of Canada and North America as well. So both sides of the Atlantic, pretty cool. And some very extensive cool and average temperature anomalies are sinking down through um, western parts of Russia there, going down towards the Black Sea perhaps. So quite a lot of cool weather in the Northern Hemisphere anyway in the week ahead. Uh, week 2 is going to be the 16th, 22nd of August. Again, cooler than average for the UK for either. Most parts of Europe look quite cool as well during uh, week 2. Week 3 also comes out cooler than average. You may be a little bit surprised. I thought that might be a slightly warmer week based on the 500 millibar height anomaly, but... The temperature normally for the 23rd to 29th of August is actually below average for the UK and for Ireland as well. And it stays pretty cool into week four. So this is a very cool update from the CFS V2 today. Uh, a lot of people think that the CFS only ever forecasts above average temperatures, warmer than average temperatures, but not always the case. This is week four. It's the 30th of August to 5th of September. And again, CFS is forecasting below average temperatures there. For the UK and for Ireland. Finally, we just finished with precipitation. So this is the week one precipitation anomaly from the 9th to the 15th of August. It's wetter than average, significantly so, for uh, the UK and for Ireland too. And week two, which is the 16th, 22nd of August, that is also significantly wetter than average. So weeks one and two coming out with above average rainfall. We shift towards a rather drier signal for week three. This is 23rd, 29th of August, close to average precipitation there. And then week four, again, close to average, as always or very often with CFS V2 precipitation forecast for weeks three and four, we have much weaker signals. And so it just tends to go towards um, the white shading, which is uh, kind of average or basically no signal from the model. So what do we make of that? Well, uh, we've got agreement that the first week, obviously, could have been cool and unsettled. But JMA and CFSV2 both in agreement about that. And generally, they're keeping things quite unsettled for certainly the, the first couple of weeks. So going in towards the uh, latter part of August, it looks like we've got pretty cool and unsettled weather coming up. Disagreements then as we get through to the end of August and the beginning of September. The JMA is much more bullish about wanting to turn things warmer and drier through that week, which is pretty, for that couple of weeks, which is pretty typical to the end of August, early September, which, as I say, does tend to be uh, a, a warmer, drier uh, singularity. However, CFS V2 is nowhere near as bullish as that, and the CFS V2 continues to look quite cool and unsettled, really even going into the end of August and the beginning of September. And even with the JMA, it's not definitively settling things down through early September. Even there, it could still be rather showering. So I think we say it's likely to be very unsettled and quite cool, certainly towards the final stages of August. There may be some sort of shift, some bit warmer and drier, uh, towards the end of August and the beginning of September. But at the moment, that is very, very undefinitive, and uh, we need to wait for further updates on that. But cool and unsettled for the majority of the rest of August. Right, we'll be back with your week 10 day video update uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, so come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.